Hello, are you unsure whether or not you should stay in first day complete? Well, let's break it down. To begin, please understand that you are automatically enrolled into first day complete, an automatic textbook rental program. This is true for both undergraduate and graduate students. If you do not wish to be in the program, but you do not take action to opt out, then you will automatically be charged. First Day Complete is an automatic textbook rental program. It charges you a flat rate per credit to allow you rental access to all of your materials for the semester, usually in a digital format. The current rate is $19 per credit or $57 per course, that is for a typical three credit course. Access is usually digital and delivered through your Canvas account. And because it is a rental, you will lose access at the end of the course. Here's an example of what that might look like. If you stay in first day complete, you will be charged $57 for each class, regardless of how many books or materials are required and regardless of the cost of those materials. In this scenario where a student is taking five courses a semester, they will be charged $285 to their overall tuition and fees to rent those materials. Hypothetically, if you were to look up the cost of the course materials for those same classes and saw these prices on the right, you would see that in this case, it is actually cheaper to opt out of First Day Complete. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter that course number three in this scenario doesn't require a textbook and therefore is $0. Under First Day Complete, you would still be charged $57 for that course because you can only opt out by semester and not on a course by course scenario, which is why it's important to add up the potential cost of all your materials to see how much it would cost you compared to First Day Complete. Remember, Multiply $57 to the total number of classes you are taking a semester to see the first day complete price. And without it, you want to add the price together for all your materials to compare that overall cost. So how do you find out the cost of your course materials? Well, you need to visit the bookstore's website. So that's uncg.bncollege.com and select Course Finder. From there, you want to use the drop down menu to select opt out. Please note that this will not opt you out of the program. It will just show you the actual cost of the materials. Then select your course and section number. In this example here for an English 106 course, you see that the listed price is $13.13 .13, and it is the only required book for the course. In this scenario, it is cheaper than the $57 first day complete would charge you to rent the same material. You can also copy the ISBN into Amazon or another bookstore to see if it's cheaper elsewhere. Remember to do this with all of your classes for the semester because again, it's an all or nothing opt out process by semester, not by course. If it is cheaper for you to purchase your own materials after shopping around, or perhaps you prefer to own your materials instead of rent them, you will need to take action to opt out. In order to do that, you need to log into your UNC Genie account, navigate to the Student tab, scroll down and click on the UNCG First Day Complete link, and then scroll down to the bottom of that page and select the link to opt out. If you plan to use the rented materials, no action is required. Remember, there is a time limit when you can opt out, so please double check with the bookstore when that time is. You don't wanna be caught in a situation where you purchase your own materials and still get charged the first day complete fee because you forgot to opt out. If you have questions about whether or not you should stay opted in or opt out of first day complete, the librarians at UNCG can happily assist you through that process.